see the body. The snake's head's up in there. Yeah, she's looking back at me. What if I touch you? What will you do? Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's your suburban garden permaculture style guy here again. My buddy Grover has been wanting me to show y'all his trick, so here you go. There he goes. All right. We're back again at the double wide renovation out at the new 40 acre property. So this is the master bathroom and it hasn't been touched yet. It had layer upon layer. Ugh funk on it and so I'm starting to demo that let's take a peek yikes oh my god it's like soil it's not even debris at this point. yeah careful where you walk oh yeah here we go get ready for this layers mmm there's some termite work not much but some yikes well, <laughs> somebody, someone who looks like me has their job set up for them right here. Okay. All right, you guys, I've made the decision. I'm rewiring 95% of this one. There's only a few spots I'm not going to be able to fully rewire because the wires go up through the attic and the, the Romex wires staple to some of the woodwork in the ceiling in the attic area. And I can't really get to it to get it out of there and replace it. So I'm going to preserve these single old circuits uh, by themselves and I'm just going to completely rewire with new, modern, thicker 12 gauge wire. This whole mobile home, might as well do it while it's open like this. That's the main bundle of wires that fed everything to the right-hand side of this mobile home. All, a lot of them were damaged over the doorway, if you recall. All right, now that we have that bundle pulled into the bathroom area, now I gotta start one at a time, ripping these out of the wall by the breaker box to start dewiring uh, all these old cables. chilly a little bit so this whole thing started in the heat of the summer trying to put the roof on in the middle of that flash drought and now I'm in a jacket now we're gonna find where all this I just pulled out goes up into here comes up and goes into all that work already <laughs> So again, these wires are not in that bad of shape. They weren't. They're just, they're not the right size. They could be bigger. Um, there is some bigger stuff in here, but it's for like the uh, washing machine or, or dryer or whatever. But uh, this is just not 14 gauge. This is 14 gauge, not 12 gauge wire. It's just not, and maybe some of it is, but it's all black Romex, so I can't even tell. None of the sizes are different colors. So and look, here's a big one. This is a big wire, but it's black just like the rest of them. That one's real thick, and it's just like the Romex. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna err on the side of caution and go with new modern 12 gauge wire so that we make sure we have the amperage we need everywhere. Um, because of the way this thing was built, there was one power socket here, there was one power socket in the middle of that wall, there was one power socket on that wall, there was one power socket on this wall, there was four in this whole room because they were trying to feed everything with a 15 amp breaker on 14 gauge wire. That also shared with that room, okay? So that's just ridiculous. I am changing it from one in the middle to two on the side so that you got like a six foot gap, right? Like I think modern code is. We'll have one around this corner, but not necessarily under the window. There'll be one in this wall here. There's already one on the other side and another one over here. So there's gonna be more sockets. These two rooms are gonna be on 20 amps by themselves. And I have them isolated on that. There's one black wire that you see. It's gonna feed the 15 amp that goes up and does the lights. That way the lights are separate from the bedroom. These boys use a lot of computers and game systems, so they need power at the plugs, not at the light fixtures. Uh, the whole house, that's the way it needs to be. You need power at the plug, not necessarily the light fixture. So I'm leaving some for 
black wires for that 15 amps for that so we learned a lot um i didn't know about any of this of course and i'm learning as i go and again there was nothing wrong with this it's just not really up to what i'm gonna want you know at power wise out of this mobile home and we got the walls off and the insulation out this is the time to do it so yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun um so far i've been through one 250 foot roll of yellow romex 12 gauge because the distance from here has got to be about eight nine feet you have to have uh, several feet to go up okay you're at 12 feet then it goes to do those long runs we had to do all the way to the master then you have a 24 foot wall then it had to go almost 50 something feet down that wall so i had two runs almost that long right that ate up a bunch of the wire and then i pulled they're sitting here they're not pulled yet because they're going that way i have one that goes to the master all the way that way okay so that long length is there and then another one that goes to the kitchen and i have some more to pull so i had to go get another roll of wire so so far this is how far i am through my second roll of 250 foot of 12 gauge and there's not a lot left but still plenty i think i already have some of it pulled it's already ready to be ran into the slots here so yeah rewiring fun And I ran out of wire again. As you can see, I ran more wires. Is why I ran out of another roll. So that's two 250 foot rolls mm -hmm. now. And uh, I have to go get another one. So that's 750 feet total. I have all my new runs twirled around that two by four on the right just to hold them out of the way. Feels terrible to have to redo your work sometimes. But all this left them off. All this left them off. Oh, that's gonna come out. All of it except for maybe two, but I don't know which two, so. Go ahead and get these things ready to be ripped out of here. Straighten them up, get them ready to pull out. A quick work montage as I straighten and prepare to unwire this panel I've already wired up once.
those pieces came out. Getting ready to put our new stuff in. It's gonna be nice, eventually. Undo more work. Even if I have to redo some of it, it's fine. I don't know what some of this is yet. Oh, that's nothing. You see that's going nowhere. Stuff like that don't have to be here no more. So, yep, back at it. This is where I was trying to get to. Now, the only wires that are coming in and actually going into this are larger gauge wires. Everything coming in is larger gauge wire for specific purposes and not none of that older uh, 14 gauge uh, 110 that it was had everywhere. Leaving a couple of circuits, one here and one here. All right, one's going to the left and one's going to the right. The second black one you see is actually not a small wire. It's a larger diameter wire, the stuff right here. And it's this stuff. So it's pretty good size. It's not, it's for something. Gotta go, uh, well, no, that's good. Cause my uh, circuit that I'm keeping it. No, I'm not sure what that is yet. We'll figure it out, but it's a larger gauge wire. So is this, this, that's 110, 110. And these are all big ones, big honkins. Yeah, yeah. So. All right, I'm going to start feeding stuff back in this way. I can do this side. I still have some woodwork I need to do. That's why I don't have it fed in yet. Um, yeah, I need to clear out some more of this too, though. So, back at it. <clears throat> All right, this is taking too long. We're going to have to do one of these things. All right, that's looking a lot better. Now we're getting somewhere. I actually... Have to take some of these back out, put some grommets in them, and just did it for the photo. I'm sorry. Got my corner in. Uh, this situation is going to be dealt with this one. Uh, it's looking pretty good, though. We got lots of wiring. Things are opening up. I was able to run some stuff through the ceiling that wasn't there before. There were no ceiling lights in these rooms, they were on the walls. So, since I have this open and I have access, I'm going to run some ceiling lights up and control them with all new wiring. Yeah. The wasps, whoo, hold on, just on my hand. Uh, the wasps seem to love it in here, all these uh, open portals. Let's go up amongst them. Hi, red hornets. Oh, yeah, oh, there. Where you go? Where you go? Stupid, you need to go away. <laughs> I'm the top of the food chain. I don't know if anybody told y'all. All right, thanks for joining us, y'all. And if you haven't yet, please, please subscribe if you haven't, you guys. We really appreciate it. Quick shout out to Miss Backyard Gardener, Green Acre Homestead, and Empty Nester 5. You guys rock, and we'll see y'all on the next one.